Welcome back to another episode. Today might be, well today is going to be a different episode. Yeah, we're still going to be working on Myrtle, but we might take it a little bit more easy. And instead of you guys seeing a full week of building, we're just going to do a bit of a daily vlog. Yeah. Because we're kind of celebrating. This, I feel like I've got chocolate all over my face. No, there's no chocolate there at all. Okay. Anyway, this week is our third YouTube anniversary. So we've yes. been uploading to YouTube for three years this week. We're so close to 50k subscribers. I know, if, we, so if only just... we could have made it. We never asked, but maybe just go and subscribe for this If one. you're not, yeah, <laughs> do it. So yeah, we put out a little question box on Instagram to see if you guys wanted any questions answered, which mm -hmm. we got a lot. Like, it was probably the best. Phone. It was the best questions we've ever had, and there was just too many to list them all. So. But we did do like a huge chunk. There yeah, go, if I'm still scrolling. Uh, so yeah, we're going to answer a few of those and continue working on Myrtle, which you might be able to see. We have made a little bit of progress off camera this week. A little bit of a queen size <laughs> bed in the room here. This took me two hours to make. Mm -hmm. It didn't take long. It's just a little bit wonky, but it's going to do the job. We've also got 240 volt installed in the caravan now. We have proper RCD switch inlet 15 amps. We've got plugs mm -hmm. everywhere. Obviously, as you can see, we had to run conduit because I didn't run it inside the walls like I should have. Didn't work out very well with the electrician coming and we yeah. wanted to keep moving along. We would have had to take like three weeks off YouTube yeah. if we'd made no progress on the yes. caravan, which we don't like to do. So. But the electrician was amazing. He's ran the conduit around the caravan and it's it's very nice and we've run it where we won't see it when the job's done. So yeah. we've ended up putting a queen size bed frame in. We still got to finish that off. We just got to put the top uh, frame on and get some gas struts on there and We've actually got to pick up our mattress as well. Yeah, we've, we've got, got a, a lot going mattress. on today, actually. Yes. So we're going. Oh to... yeah, that's the other thing. I think I actually forgot to mention in our original tour when we were talking about the layout. We are going to have storage under our bed. Heaps of storage. It's, yeah. It's actually ridiculous. We've so. never had that much storage before. Originally, it was supposed to just be for clothes. So. That's our whole troopy. Right? I guess we're getting a new wardrobe because we don't have that many clothes, as you can probably tell. No, but we have to be careful with weights. Remember. Clothes don't weigh that much. Clothes can weigh a lot, Megan. <laughs> anyway, we're going to answer some questions. Well, I think before we get on to the questions today, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys. Firstly, three years on YouTube is oh, yes. nuts. And some of you have been here since the beginning, which is even more nuts because if you go back and watch our earlier videos, like, what, are you, what were you guys watching for? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty I dirty. think every single YouTuber says that. <laughs> yeah, but, but... I mean, it's good to go back and have a look and have a laugh and just yeah. be like, well, we started somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just want to say thank you to you guys. The ones that have been here from the beginning, thank you. And the ones that are just following along on Myrtle now, thank you guys so much because I don't think we would have made it to this point of the build without your help and support mm -hmm. in the comments. So Beautiful messages coming through, yeah. just amazing. So thank you all. I had to get that off my chest before we started today. So I And remember, subscribe because we want 50k. It would be amazing. <laughs> that would be so... Imagine... Because I think there is... Okay, we're going to be rambling a lot in today's video. Sorry, guys. Um, there is about 30 to 40% of you who have not clicked the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. So that could be... That could be 10,000 people. Really? Maybe. Oh, that would be so good. Let's get to 60k. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. classic. So, first question. Let's get on with it. When do you hope to have the caravan finished and ready for travelling? End of May. Mm -hmm. End of May, hopefully... If, we really yeah. don't know, <laughs> like, we don't know how long it's going to take. Although, the fact that the bed only took us, well, probably two, two days by the time it's fully done is quite promising. Yes. Because if we can, like, knock that out in a couple of days, knock our kitchen out in a couple of days, that would be awesome. Mm. So... I think all the really hard, well, we always say this, but all the hard work, walls, <laughs> we chassis... We've said that so many times. So many times. But I feel like it might just be over. <laughs> Um, <laughs> famous last words, but end, end of, of May. May, 
Hopefully. The second question said, where are we planning to take Myrtle for her first trip? Exmouth. We want to drive straight up to Exmouth and just bring Myrtle up there and yeah. <laughs> I don't know, what do you do with the camera? See how she goes. <laughs> Oh, classic. Yeah, just bring her straight up to Exmouth and see how she goes and then maybe we'll head over to the east coast and explore the high country. Mm -hmm. And you're probably wondering how we're going to get right into the high country. Mm, yes, mm, someone... Yes, you've clicked on this video because of that reason. So Someone did actually ask the question, are you going to be keeping the Hilux to tow the caravan? Absolutely not. Even though it was an amazing car. It was. We did love Dusty, but Dusty's gone, guys. Dusty's been told. Dusty was a hard sell. Dusty was great, but probably not the best business in investment, investment no. on our part. But it was great. In saying that, the Perth market has changed. Nobody can sell any like cars aren't selling. People are dropping their prices dramatically. So let's go and have a look at our new car. <laughs> <laughs> we got a deal that we just couldn't say no to, and it's a thing of beauty. Maybe, oh no, you can't see her out the window. No, you can't, but she's... It, it, she she or he, we don't know yet, we don't have a name it's, yet, so... It is beautiful, so let's go have a look. And I'll give you a run through of uh, Toyota's best car. Well, Toyota Troop Carrier is the best car, <laughs> but this might be the second best one. We bought a 100 series turbo diesel Land Cruiser. And it is amazing. We got it for an amazing price, the previous owner. He went a bit crazy with it. <laughs> and it's pretty much set up to tour Australia. All we have to do is add a rooftop tent, swag, or a bed in the back, and it's um, ready to go touring. So I won't go too much into depth, but I'll uh, try and explain everything that we've got on the car as quick as we can. And our dream car would actually be a troop carrier with this engine, but we couldn't find any, and they're just all so highly priced. So they're a very popular car, but this, this is amazing regardless. So we are, we'll, we'll get on with the bonnet soon, but we'll start with the bar work that the cars come with. So it's got an ARB front full bar with a winch as well. Some old, old spotties. They're called light box. I've never even heard of them before and they don't actually work. So we might have to upgrade there, but we've also got some side steps, some side rails. We've also got a safari snorkel there as well. And if you come around to the back, we've got a twin wheel carrier ARB as well with a built-in tow bar which is great for when we go to tow the caravan later on it's rated and all that kind of stuff we've got a rhino roof rack platform on the top it feels so sturdy those roof racks we've got a high lift jack on the back there we've got a reverse camera king's awning we've got toyo open country 285 tires all brand new and we've got six of them which is awesome. And then if we talk about underneath the car we've got bash plates we've got a two inch suspension lift with airbags on the rear and also we've got a GVM upgrade, which is amazing as well. We're not gonna have any problems towing Myrtle or putting weight into the car. We obviously still have to be careful with it. I haven't actually worked out everything yet, but the GVM is a plus and a pretty expensive plus. So that's great. And we've got 280 liters of diesel, all engineered, all legal, and that's gonna be awesome as well. We've also got an amazing custom installations rear drawer setup with all our switches here, and we've got an ARB twin compressor in there. That's what we took around Australia twice, and they are an amazing compressor. We've got side storage on each side as well. So far, the quality of these drawers is amazing. It's also got a subwoofer inbuilt into the custom drawers, something I wouldn't personally do, but it is nice turning the music up. We've never really done that before, and it has been fun. Nothing too much inside the car, but it's very dirty, so don't look here. Um, we've got a console on the roof, it's made by Outback, Outback something. And it's got a two-way in there. It's got the interior light. So that's pretty Ooh. cool. I've never had one of them before. Sorry about the wind, folks. Yes, that's sorry about the wind. That's real bad. That's really the bad. Wind, the wind is telling you to wrap it up. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up quickly. So one last thing. Or oh, we'll wait for the wind. I'm going to do this as quick as I can, guys, because Megan hates me talking about engines. <laughs> I don't hate it. I just get bored. <laughs> I enjoy it. So I'm going to quickly tell you everything about the engine. So I would not have bought this car if I knew that I needed to replace the fuel pump and injectors and uh, all the clutch and all that kind of stuff. So everything's about 100,000 kilometers old that I'm going to tell you about here. So it had a brand new fuel pump. It had brand new injectors. has a pretty much brand new clutch. It's got a 1300 Newton meter clutch, NPC, I think the brand is called. We've got a brand new, pretty much brand new VDJ gearbox, genuine from Toyota. And it's got the nicer fifth gear. So when we're cruising on the freeway at about 110, we sit at 2000 reps, which is 
awesome. It's very nice to drive and the gearbox is amazing. We've also got a G turbo red wheel. Now that's the bigger turbo that they make and it boosts quite late, but it is so powerful. You seriously don't need all that power. It's also got a uni chip with a five map select. It's got the performance, two tying modes and uh, few other modes, one of them is stock mode. I just keep it in the standard mode because that is plenty of power. We've also got a twin fuel filter set up. We've got a catch can. As soon as we saw this car, we knew that it was the car because we could tell that had been taken care of. We could see that the money had been spent on it. And just by listening to the engine, it, it sounds great. So like I said, the power is amazing. These engines are a beautiful thing. So that is enough from me about this engine. <laughs> <laughs> are we done? I'm sure a lot of you are interested to hear all that. And the first time I put, oh, here I go again. Oh my the God. first time I put my foot Jack, down in- Jack, Jack, Jack. Just let me tell them. Okay. <laughs> the first time I put my foot down in this car, I could not believe what 221 horsepower felt like. That's enough. I feel like this is the reason that we got so many hate comments when we went to travel internationally because people are confused because Jack spends so much time like drive. talking about four-wheel drives. People think we're a strictly four-wheel drive and channel. Then, which... And then we're in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on to this bed, shall we? Yeah. We've gone to Ikea and we've bought ourselves these slats here. A queen size, queen size bed slats? Shh. The wind, guys. It's either <laughs> bloody the heat waves, thunderstorms or gale force winds. It's ridiculous, but that's our rant for the day. Oh about weather. So we've gone to Ikea and bought these for 70 bucks. They're a queen size set of bed slats. Now, as you can see, I've built the frame and then now we have to build a frame that sits on top of that frame that you see and then screw these onto that, put it on and work out how the hell we're gonna connect these gas struts. Now, I just, I don't know. So I'm going to deal with that problem once it's all done <laughs> and then figure it out from there. We might even have the wrong gas strut. So we've got to build the frame, get these slats on and answer some more questions. Let's do it. Look at this, guys. <laughs> done it. But once again, five seconds of building for you guys was like two hours for us. Ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Yes, I got it. Are you sure? Yep. Are you positive? Yep. Look at that. Does it fit? It fit. It better fit. <laughs> so what we've done is. Oh my gosh, look is made this so technically it'll be going like this oh. yep when there's the person said yep <laughs> <laughs> anyway yep it'll go like that oh my gosh then, oh, that's amazing access our storage so and i can't actually believe i built this <laughs> i'm kind of teacher, scared of you sitting on it my woodwork teacher would be happy with me <laughs> look at that oh oh yes <laughs> <laughs> look at that Wow, that is amazing. And it's like the perfect, like, good morning beach. <laughs> and then what I've done is, for anybody that cares, we've run one piece of wood across there, one across here, and obviously one across the bottom there. And then you'll see one, two, three, four, five cross members, which obviously stop the wood on the frame going this way, blowing down, so. High five! They're all intertwined with each other. That's so good. This will be our bed head space, mm -hmm. which you can see I'll put a false floor there, or I'll put a floor there, and our bed head will come up to the same height as the window. I am so stoked with that. I can't believe that we built that. So Pretty amazing for a full drive channel. I'll, <laughs> I'll put you down. <laughs> put you down here, and we'll do a couple more questions. Are you sure that's safe for us to sit on? Yeah, just don't sit on one. Right. Just okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so the next question was sort of relating to what we're doing here. It was, what was the hardest part of living in the troopy and what are you most looking forward to living in the caravan? I feel like they both have the same answer. So the hardest part so in the troopy. about living in the troopy was how we had little to no space. So the thing that we're looking forward to yeah. in the caravan is having all this space. And now that the bed is done, oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to a queen bed. We get to have a big coffee machine. Yeah. I've never had a proper coffee machine. So that'll be a nice little fancy thing to have. And the con with the troopy, so the pros and cons. Would like what them. was the hardest part about living in the troopy? The troopy was, we would look very weird with our tent popped in random places. Mm -hmm. We get lots of looks. So maybe with the caravan, it's like, oh, they just got a caravan. Yeah. We can park up easier and just walk in the back, not have to pop the tent and not cook have some to, like, food and stuff like that. everything out to cook, yeah. Yeah, if it's bad weather as well. So, yeah. But I'm just looking forward to a, a different kind of transport. Yeah, it'll be cool. Because we've done Troopy for so many years, we've done Swag for so many years, and mm -hmm. it's time for a change. Okay, next up, Andrew asked, what do you miss most about not being on the road for a while? Waking up and getting, this might sound a bit heavy, <laughs> waking up and getting the energy from the beach water. Oh, that does sun. sound very hippie. <laughs> like there's something about it when no, you're on the right, coast. No. Grounding. Ground, yeah, it's very heavy, <laughs> but there's something I miss about that. And we just cannot seem to wake up in, in, in our room. Oh, yes, I that is what I'm missing so much because we don't have a window yeah. in our room and we're finding it very difficult to wake up in the morning. Like, that's an answer that is very personal yeah. to us. But yeah, right <laughs> now, we can't get up in the morning because we don't have a window. So I'm very much looking forward to this the sun amazing. coming through here. Do we answer that question? What do you miss? Most about not being on the road for a while. Mm, yeah. it, it, that's it, getting on the coast and... And, and sunlight just... in the morning. <laughs> yes, and good sunlight. Roxy asked, as you've been on the farm for a little while, does it make you wish that you had a home base? And I feel like that's kind of what Myrtle is going to be for us because yeah. we've never really had this much space to call home before. Little so. steps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, we do love it here and we've definitely settled in for sure. Yeah. When we come home, when we come, see, I'm calling it home. Yeah. <laughs> and it definitely is nice, but I can't wait to hit the road. Like, I cannot Yeah. Wait. I think we have realised that living on the road is sort of what feels most natural to us. Yeah. Now, which is kind of weird. But we do have a dream. And if you go follow a channel called Max and Oki, he's got a property on the East Coast and he's just building like a cabin style house yeah and then all other bits and pieces around the property and he's that, even got like a water hole which would be yeah, a dream it's got a, a creek running through and it's in like tropical area and that would be the ultimate dream we're just not there financially yet yeah so, one day one day will you be traveling full time again when your caravan is done 100 yep. percent. yes we have no plans to really come back to the farm or anything the caravan will be our home and it will just be wherever it is. We do still want to do some international travel, so it'll be nice when we fly in to not have to mooch off family members, which just, was just their girl. thing. Just their driveway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that window's making noise. Two seconds. I think we're done in here anyway, because we, we got to, well, we got to go pick up some deliveries. Yes. Yeah. We're going to pick up today, like the most important parts for the car. Should we tell them what it is? Okay. For the caravan. We're picking up the fridge, induction cooktop, and all the solar panels and electrical um, components for the caravan and we're picking up the bed. Which was the thing we were most excited the for mattress. today because the rest of it we can't really do much with yet but yeah. we can like almost finish the bed. We're definitely putting the mattress on today. I want to yeah. see what it looks like. But um, yeah, we've got to go. And we get to go in a drive in our new car. In our new car. argumentative people we bicker a lot Stop but it. yeah we had some we have some pretty big blowouts while we were traveling which i think is normal yeah i don't hope know so. <laughs> we had a couple of questions about like how traveling affected our relationship and all that sort of thing and i think the actual traveling part of it didn't really affect us like we would have been 
super happy if we were just like on a holiday but the fact that we were trying to work, and work together and starting a whole new business together which neither of us have ever run a business before that's what is really at the base of all of our arguments i think most of our bickering comes from i don't want to film it this way i want to film it this way which is why you don't always see it on the vlog because that's very hard to yeah like well, well, I don't oh, by the way it. guys we got in an argument because i wanted to film this this way and jack did it so and i wanted to send an email a certain way megan wants to send an email a certain way yeah but I think, yeah, like Megan said, if we weren't traveling and working, we would get along really, really well. We get along really well, obviously, anyway, but I think if we weren't working, we would it'd be pretty good, eh? Yeah, well, <laughs> and, and the way that we say working as well, I think is kind of different because we love our job so much. Because we do this video producing is yeah. our job. So that was another couple of questions that we got. How do you afford to not work consistently and how do you find jobs? So we do work very consistently because making the videos is our job and it sort of bleeds into another question as well. Someone asked how much time we would spend editing and filming and do we have a balance and all that sort of thing which we're not very good at just yet. So every time that we've been on the road previously, if we're not filming, I'm editing and that's just been our whole entire life. So yeah. we definitely need to get better at a bit more of a work-life balance. And we're working about 80 hours a week. That's, that's so how true. much we're working on this channel, on the Instagram, on the emails. Like there's so much stuff behind the scenes. Um, but we don't really show that, do we? So. No. Well, that would be pretty boring for you guys. So yeah, we definitely need to get better at bit of balance yes. maybe so but I think to, we're getting we are getting better so to sum it up if we got another job each this channel wouldn't go yeah like we're already struggling with um, uploading with just having a personal life because for the last three years we've been traveling yeah. we haven't seen family all we've focused on is the channel so add in like going to weddings and uh, like which we've enjoyed we love so much but um, yeah so that's why it's been a lot harder to put out a video every week lately but yeah hopefully we'll be back on that weekly uploading train with this video i think yeah. if we get a little bit ahead i've gone off on a tangent next question was how much did we save to go on our first lap of australia and it was between 30 and 35 thousand yeah. we did a whole video on it years ago but um I don't know if that would get you a year of travel around Australia these days. No way. Because that was 2020 that we took off on that first lap. So things are a lot more expensive now, unfortunately. And I don't even know. What do you, could we? 50. 50,000, 50, I reckon. For, yeah. It's going up. that was a mission. We put all the solar panels into the car and we stacked them all on top of each other and then we found out you're not meant to stack solar panels on top of each other. We probably could have got away with it but we had to pull it all back out and stack it individually in weird and wacky spots so we left one solar panel behind and the fridge but the main thing we wanted was the mattress uh, so we're gonna head back to the farm now Pull it all out. I'm gonna quickly tell you what electrical system we're going with. We won't go too much into depth because that'll be a separate video. And uh, we'll pull the mattress out and see if we've got our measurements right. The time goes quick when you come down from the farm and head back up, eh? Yeah. It's a bit of a mission, but we'll, uh, we'll head back and we'll answer some more questions as well for you. racing against the sun. It feels like every single day here, whenever we're filming, 
We're just racing against the sunlight. So maybe we'll like speed round a couple of questions. A couple speed rounds. Uh, so Rachel said, where is the next adventure you're heading off to? And I, we're like 95% Sure, we've got it. Confirmed. That we always say this. <laughs> I know, it might be like Malaysia all over again. Yeah. But we might be going off on a road trip up to the Gascoigne region. Obviously not with Myrtle <laughs> in a hire car. And yeah, that'll be our next little road trip. We'll be which... filming a video showing why you should veer off the coast mm -hmm. and head in inland. Because yeah. we've been there before and it was one of the most amazing times. It is. Had. And if that falls through, then our next trip will just be me going to Japan with my mum. Yes. In late May, which is when the deadline for metal is. Next question was, what is the favourite vehicle you've ever travelled in? The Troopy. Mm -hmm. Troopy was amazing. It was just the most reliable thing I've ever driven. It was the most versatile and it could just handle anything. Never let us down. Mine was the Sprinter van that we hired in Victoria. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Eddie was beautiful. But yes, if you are new here, we did actually live full time in a Toyota Troop carrier for about two years. Yeah. So that was the next couple of questions was, do you miss the Troopy life? And if you had to do it again, would you still sell the Troopy? Yes. I would sell the Troopy. Yeah. I mean, we miss it from time to time, but I think that two years living in a space like that is... Time for a change. It's good. We, and yeah, we loved it. We loved every second of it, and it just felt like the time to move on. And I think I feel like people get bored seeing Troopy, 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 so it's nice to change it up, and I think a lot of YouTubers do that, and they, they change it up. And i got to shut that door. It's so annoying. <laughs> yes. So I'm here like a little boy at Christmas time, so here's our induction cooktop. It's a new Thetford one, so it's a new one they've just bought out. Oh, and it's quite light though. Uh, it's quite light, eh? Yeah. But it's got a 15 amp plug, so... Look into that, but anyway. Why was that mean? I wasn't expecting a plug like that, but... <laughs> what were you expecting? We, uh, different one. Megan doesn't know what 15 amp plugs are, guys. No. See that, that bit there is thicker? Oh, So we'll okay. suss that out another time, but... Guys, the electrical system we've gone with. Not many people have this electrical system and it's probably a big thing to say but we might be the first people in Australia to actually have this complete system in our caravan so we're going with you want to hold the camera these guys Renergy now big in the UK market big in America market not heard of much here so they're cracking into the Australian market so far well I can't say it's good because we haven't installed it yet and used it. So we're going to be sussing it out. And this here is heavy as. I was not expecting an inverter to weigh that much. So we've got a 3000 watt inverter that has automatic transfer and it has an inbuilt charger and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to go too much into this because that'll be another complete video. Mm -hmm. um, but very excited to learn all about electrics and install it myself at DIY Projects. So with a bit of help, obviously. But it's gonna be good. So anyway, enough about that. Back to today's real mission. How the hell? Oh, you, you gotta open it like on the bed. Yeah, well I go and open it on the bed, but this is our bed, it's a Zinus. So we bought it off Amazon. How much did it cost us? No, we got it off Bunnings. Oh, Bunnings. Yeah, you well can Bunnings buy it on Marketplace. Well. Yeah. yeah. I'll link it on Amazon. Yeah, Marketplace. so it cost us like two, Sixty, I think it was. Yeah, two sixty including delivery. Yeah, two hundred and sixty bucks. Let's just go with that far out. And it's a little bit heavy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's amazing that they can fit this into there, into this packaging, eh? Guys, this is a big are you, moment. Are you right? Yeah. Imagine we built the frame and it's completely. Nice. Oh, don't say that. Because really, we oh, tried man. to like slot it in. This is going to sit perfectly. Is it? Oh, we're going to wake up and have the best mornings ever. <laughs> we should definitely not be doing this, but... Oh, yeah, because what do we do? Like, then it won't have plastic on it anymore. We'll go store it inside. Okay. But, mate, I can't wait any longer. <laughs> I've watched all the videos of them popping open and all that kind of stuff, so... Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone to shit. Do you need help? No, it's all right. Listen, it's like inflating. Inflating by itself. Oh my gosh. 
Maybe you should leave the plastic on. I'll help it breathe so it can inflate itself. Look at that. I really hope it doesn't go thicker than that. Uh -huh. We did measure for it, but you never know. I think it takes a while for it to completely inflate. Maybe don't take all the plastic off. Oh, yeah, we don't have to. Yeah. Cool. Does it? Oh, it fits like a it glove, fits mate. perfectly. Look at that. Engineered by Jack and Megan. <laughs> the perfect Megan. Look at that. So it's, it like sits in the frame. That's awesome. That can be lifted. That's awesome. Well. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. Good to good. Here we go. I'm in the truth. Oh my gosh, please don't collapse. Oh, oh me. I would not have jumped on it like you just did. <laughs> that oh, is good. That's good. That is nice and springy. Okay, settle down. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> but let's go the other way and see if it's right. Oh, Megan, look. Look at the view. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. The whole oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's come up from the front. <laughs> oh, guys, bit of a bit of a bit of a different vlog today, but it is what it is, eh? That's that because I haven't got any weight. We have no weight at the front of the caravan. Oh right. Anyway, the inverter will sort that out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. I am happy we put a queen bed. <laughs> I told you. Look at that. That's brilliant. That is so good, man. That's so cool. We're going to answer some more questions for you guys. And uh, yeah. Next one is what is the one thing that you took traveling with you and never used? Uh, gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> On our first lap, we took like 30 kilos of gym weights and it was completely unnecessary. Oh, wait, it was mostly me. me. Yeah. And I never ever used them. Well, we used them twice, I think. Yeah, but. I think, yeah. Don't bring gym equipment, guys. It's just too pointless. Stick to body weight exercises or like the, yeah. what are they called? Uh, the the elastic things. Yeah. 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 So Anna, thank you so much for your lovely question. She asked if we would do a second cookbook because she really enjoyed the first one. And that was definitely our plan. Yeah. We thought that because we weren't traveling full time that we would have all this spare time and we would definitely be getting onto our second cookbook yeah. ASAP at the farm. And obviously Myrtle is using up a lot of our yes. time. So, so we, we want to do it. We're going to try and do it because we've had so many messages come through and a lot from international people coming over to Australia to travel and they're just saying, guys, your cookbook has helped so much. Just imagine going to overseas yeah. and you don't have a clue what to do in the in their Woolworths, whatever they're, whatever, wherever you are. <laughs> and we've got it all written down for you. So yeah. They have been very thankful for that, and the messages coming through are amazing. And, and I from never people even the... thought of that when we set no, off we to, didn't. No. to make the thing, the book. So that's so good. So yes, cookbook round two will come mm -hmm. one day. Next question. Next question was: When you started three years ago, did you think that this is where you would end up? Absolutely not. We, no me way. Megan goes to me before Jack. We're living on a farm. We've got a fairly decent car, and we've got a caravan. And we just could not believe where, how. And, and like trips planned. And some trips them. planned and it's just been amazing. And I guess that is but like, all, all our hard even, work. We've put in a lot of work. Not even three years ago. Like wait, we wouldn't have thought that would, was possible even this time last year. No. So again, it's all thanks to you guys yes. joining us every week here because none and, of that would have happened without you. <laughs> no. So thank you for clicking and subscribing guys. It's awesome. I feel like maybe this is a bit, is this annoying? Should we move? No, that's right. So Larry asked, what is the creepiest or scariest, strangest experience that you had on the road? Bundaberg, Queensland, sleeping in the troop. You got waken up by some people in a, a loud wagon. They got out and started talking about killing backpackers and how, how easy, easy it would, it would be. be. Yeah. That was insane. <laughs> I was crapping myself. I was asleep the whole time. So I did, I only got to hear Jack's recount of yeah. how that went but for me we did also have another quite creepy encounter with a man who was mentally altered on many substances yes. and he the way that he was looking at me at Megan yeah made me very uncomfortable yeah. and we didn't really know like how to 
end the conversation without you know because you don't you don't want to piss, provoke it, piss him someone. off yeah. yeah and i guess it come what comes into play there is you have to know how to talk to people mm. it's very important because you like we said you don't know who you're going to run into and you need to be a bit clued on with how you're going to talk to people so lucky i, I think we're pretty good at that <laughs> <laughs> well we live to tell we live to tell the tale so yeah um yeah don't just be ready for that but out of all the years we've been traveling it's happened that was twice. it that's the only things that have sort of been not positive experiences yeah. so yep. don't let stories like that put you off traveling no someone else asked have you experienced a time where something went wrong and you didn't know what to do never and so i'm so glad that i have jack <laughs> because me personally that would have happened a lot but jack always knows what to do it's so. more the mechanical side of things so yeah. uh lucky i'm mechanically minded and got us out of some crap alex asks what advice would you give to a couple who thinks they might be traveling too quickly keep traveling quick if that's the way that you like to travel, we used to get comments. I remember our first lap, we would go, oh, maybe we should slow down. Maybe we are traveling too, too yep. quickly because we would get comments like, oh, you guys are rushing. But that's just the way We're that we it. like to travel. And when we try to slow down, we get that urge to keep, keep moving going. quickly. Yeah. So it's a, I think it's a natural thing. My to advice maybe. would be just don't think that there's a particular way that you should be traveling as long as you're enjoying it. If you're happy, that's just keep all that going. matters. We got a few questions that were like, What's the favourite town you visited or if um, if somewhere you would live if you had to settle in one state or... Can, yeah, Cairns, t- tropical north Queensland, but we have not experienced a wet season there yet, so mm-hmm. that might change. And also another favourite town in Australia is Corumba. Very remote, very small town, but beautiful. It was just nice there, eh? Corumba. That little fishing town. Yeah, with the, the sunset. You would live there. Oh, no, I wouldn't leave oh. <laughs> It was just a really nice town. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. That was uh, nice. I think to the state that we would always live in is WA, though. Yeah. And we do love Queensland and could definitely live in Queensland, but I think we would miss family a lot. I feel like family yeah. and home is always going to be Perth, really. Yeah, and the coastline here, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, guys, we're uh, going to head back inside now, have one Whoa. last look at this beautiful... <laughs> mattress here oh yeah can i tell my vision for what else is going on here yeah so like jack said we're gonna have gas struts so we're gonna have storage underneath and then we're gonna have like a little bit of ply here and then i've got a bunch of like half circle round things that get, are gonna like, that'll be like a finish it's hard to explain yeah. maybe i'll just show you later but we're gonna have a bed head and we're also gonna have a little bit of storage in our bed head for our sheets and spare pillowcases and stuff yeah. and i think that's about, and like that's all gonna get finished so don't don't look at that yet <laughs> time for some food guys look at the sunset megan look we're this, so lucky look at this beautiful car guys <laughs> i'm in love thai green curry soup for dinner guys chicken sorry i've said that wrong haven't i thai thai chicken soup yes you gotta try it. <laughs> i nearly said curry as well okay. now let's just take a moment and be very quiet and listen how quiet it is here this is how alone we are <laughs> lonely I'm Mr. Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> imagine someone just walked past <laughs> anyway we're gonna answer the rest of the questions guys we think we've got a few more eh? yeah i think uh, two or three more yep so always the most popular question that we get when we put up a, a box <laughs> every time <laughs> every time at well, least I 20. the most popular is um yes when when will jack propose and such uh which never <laughs> no, one day we it's not really anything i think we've spoken about it before but it's not really anything high on our list of priorities no. at the moment because i think we probably would want to have like a wedding celebrate us yeah yeah which we simply cannot afford and we would rather <laughs> buy things like new cars and caravans instead <laughs> of paying for weddings so yeah, so we just i just can't comprehend paying for a, for a wedding and uh, i wouldn't I like, want i wouldn't want him to no. either so um, oh, i thought you were going to well, say an engagement ring oh <laughs> an engagement ring will come one day it's <laughs> financially not me yet so but wedding, I just can't comprehend spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on it. And that is just our opinion. Um, 
You do you. Yeah, you do you. They're fun. Invite us to one if you have <laughs> if you have one. Um, um, but, but not for a while. I'd just rather invest that kind of money somewhere else. But one day, if we're financially there, we'll have a celebration. Yeah. Um, I was thinking even if we just like elope now. Because like, nothing will change and then we can just have a party later on. Yeah, something like that. It'll we'll... make the business side of things easier if we could just have the same surname. and I don't know, <laughs> maybe that's a discussion for another yeah. day. And then the next one is, I know the next one because I've seen it a million times, is when are you going to have babies? We're not. We're, we're 95% sure we will not be having a kid. We love kids. Yes, and we, we have, uh, we've got a nephew and nieces and they're amazing. Yeah. But it's just not something that we really see for our future. That's crazy that we're even talking about that. Yeah. We're, we're adults now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, not anytime soon. Uh, we just want to keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, it's a bit of an awkward subject to talk about. Yeah, Jack even said maybe we don't answer that question. But I feel like I feel a bit better about my choices when I see other women speaking about choosing to be child free in their life so I don't know maybe you can it happens so yeah. it's happening <laughs> for now well, one of the questions wasn't even a question it just said pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> so your answer is no Not pregnant. and I always seem to get those comments when my weight is fluctuating as well so classic that's our baby let's uh, right there leave it with that so future plans and goals mm -hmm. is another question that we got so future plans, finish her, take her somewhere, see a bit more of Australia, but our main goals that we really want to achieve in the next year or two is we want to see New Zealand with van life and we want to see the United States through van life. And Canada. Yes. Yeah, that would be amazing. And then eventually, you know, a little bit of this farm life with some goats. And a kid. Uh, yeah, baby go. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining us. Um, Thank you if you're still here. And yeah. remember, we want to hit 50k. We never ask in our videos to subscribe, but we're asking today. Oh my gosh. I, could you imagine? If we hit 50k, oh my god. I'll be so happy, but I'm happy with all 46,000. <laughs> but like of 50k, <laughs> it's just like 50k. That, that's with 50, our three year anniversary. Anyway. Your bread is so soggy. Yeah, it's Do you like, like it like that? Like a duck. Ew. Oh, I can't believe you said that. Like, you know how ducks eat soggy bread? Oh, I thought you were talking like how how a bird like regurgitates their food to their baby chick. That's this what I pictured. always happens at the end of our video. <laughs> we start talking out really crap. Okay. See you next week with more work on Myrtle. Yes, we'll be, we'll be in full swing. <laughs> Flooring's going down. Framing out. Oh, we're still talking. Yep, see ya. <laughs>